All right, guys. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, shoot, I just realized the sun's going down. I need some more light. Uh, but I think I just installed these bed lights. Just flip them on here, and hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, so I wanted to take a minute and share some of my thoughts uh, with you on bed lights, and uh, we'll do this vlog style. Hopefully. You know, since I did these rails, I've been wanting to do some bed lights, and I've been looking at the OEM style, of course, and to match, you know, the rails, they look kind of nifty. But the more I looked at them, the more I was like, $150 for lights, and then I have to pay the dealer to flash them, you know, like $75 or $100, bucks. Um, so all told, you know, $250, uh, I don't know, man, spending a lot of money on the truck lately. Uh, as you know, I did the uh, 6112s. Uh, just finished the video on the Total Chaos uh, Uniballs. And those weren't cheap. Um, I don't think I got, you know, 250 bucks to throw on a bed light. You know, someone's like, oh, infotainment, they make a set. And uh, you don't even need to get them flashed, you know. They're just plug and play and they're, they're OEM. So I was like, sweet. Check those out. Yeah, $300. So, you know, again, I'm um, not trying to spend hundreds of dollars on some bed lights. So what I decided to do um, was I, I rigged up something on my own to approximate the OEM look. Um, I spent, you know, a little under 50 bucks. I'll tell you a few things about my setup. You can decide whether it's for you or not. Um, I mounted these lights into those plastic inserts um, and then I just ran a switch. These don't come on when the bed, uh, the uh, tailgate drops. They only come on when I turn the switch. And you know, I thought about rigging them up with the pin switch. Um, I decided no, I didn't want that. Um, I decided to turn them on only when I wanted to turn them on. And part of the reason was, you know, sometimes I'm driving around with the tailgate down. You know, my bed, this bed is pretty tiny, five seven. Um, when I'm carrying bikes to the trail, my tailgate's down. I want to drive the whole way with my bed lights on. So there's that. And you might be wondering, you got an open bed. Why you got these awesome cargo lights? Why are you worrying about bed lights, dude? Um, that's a good question. You know, I'm going to be putting a tonneau on here or a cap. I haven't decided which. Um, let me just share my thoughts with you on that. Um, I'm looking at the Retrax Pro XR tonneau right now. I'm liking it because it's lockable. Um, it's also one of those where you can add a rack later. I'm also considering the smart cap. That thing is tempting. It's, you know, but it's $4,000. Um, it's stainless steel, which is cool. Um, the nice thing about the smart cap though, if you go that route is, you know, you don't really need bed lights per se because it's got a little window that your cargo lights will go into. So, um, there's that. I don't know. I haven't committed one way or the other, but needless to say, I'm going to put something over top the bed to add some security. So I've got a trailer. So anytime I do heavy stuff like stone or mulch, um, you know, or, or messy stuff like dirt and mulch, I'm pulling it in that trailer. I'm not putting it in this bed. And that's another thought. If you haul a bunch of crap in your bed, you might not want to put the switch, you know, where I mounted it. You might not want these bed lights at all. Um, to do this right, you are going to have to solder. You're going to get have to get off your butt and you're going to have to put together a harness. And it's going to take a couple hours. You know, uh, 50 bucks for OEM style bed lights. Awesome. You know, where can I buy them? You can't. You have to make it. So full disclosure, moving forward, you're going to have to you're going to have to solder because uh, my videos, I, I, you know, I solder all my connections. You want to know how to solder? Uh, there's plenty of stuff on YouTube. Look at my TRX video. That's basically a how-to solder video. Um, I'm not going to go into the nuts and bolts of soldering in this video, um, but feel free to check that video out. What are you going to need? You're going to need, obviously, a soldering iron. You're going to need some solder, some flux. You're going to need some uh, dielectric style uh, grease for your soldered connections. You're going to need some heat shrink. You're going to need some wire loom. You're going to need some wire. Because um, the harness, the way that it's packaged, it's it's not big, it's not long enough to do this. So I had to add, you know, between 12 and 15 feet of wire, uh, and that's two wires for each light, and that's three wires for the switch. So 
that's quite a bit of wire. You know, I have it laying around, so it's not a big deal for me. Um, if you don't, you know, that might be a consideration for you. You might not want to go this route. Um, I also bought a lot of quarter inch loom. Uh, and I bought three quarter for the switch because there's three lights. You could probably get away with half inch, to be honest. Crap ton of um, electrical tape. You're gonna need a three quarter inch bit to widen this hole for the switch, um, which I'll show you how I did it. Uh, super easy. Okay. I got my cat going freaking crazy over here. Every time I make a video, my cats decide they want to hang out. Um, it's the wild kingdom over here. Um, if you got boys, you got if you got kids, you got pets. You know these lights are seven. They're rated at 770 lumens each. I don't know if that's 100% true. You know, I, that's what it said on the site when I, where I bought them. So we're looking at roughly 1,400 lumens here coming off of these things. Um, Crazy. I, I tried to find the lumen rating for the OEMs. Um, couldn't find it anywhere. I even asked Amazon. Some some wise ass was like, "You don't want lumens. You're wondering about candelas." And I'm like, "Dude, semantics, right? I don't care what it's called. How bright are they?" And no one could tell me uh, any sort of number. So you have the OEMs, or if you happen to know what the, the light rating is on those, I'd be curious. Um, these lights were cheap; they were 22 bucks. The project I just bolted them to the plastic plugs that already come in your bed if you don't have the lights, and I just used those, just kind of repurposed them to be able to mount the lights. The lights are perfect length. Uh, they're five, I think. 5.7 inches. I don't know. Apparently that's the number for the truck. 5.7 heavy. Hemi. 5.7 bed. 5.7 inch lights. Um, um, I've been going a little stir crazy with COVID and winter. So every weekend I'm trying to do a, a project. You know, I'm crawling around under this thing and there's salt dropping in my eyes. So by the time I'm done, I, I look like I have uh, conjunctivitis. My eyes are just pink and it's raw. Um, but that's what makes it fun, right? Um, so, you know, seriously, if you're thinking about doing something like that in the winter, um, maybe some safety goggles I have. Today, um, I hit 300 subscribers. Um, I know that doesn't sound like much uh, for some of these big, big accounts. I'm not jumping a, a TRX over a freaking creek, though, I guess, or doing other dumb shit that destroys things. You know, I worry about these boys growing up with these videos um, of people just breaking stuff. It's far easier to break something than it is to fix it. And if you're a dad and you're older like me, you probably went through your, you know, wild phase where you broke stuff. But, uh, you know, if you're a guy in your 30s or 40s, you got kids, you want to build stuff. And, uh, you know, one of the things that, that I've been fortunate to build over the last few months is 300 subscribers. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video, taking the time to, to comment, taking the time to like, taking the time to subscribe. Um, it really helps little guys like me out uh, who are trying to build, build a channel. One of the things uh, that I want you to check out, if, if you're loyal to the channel or if you're a new subscriber, check out just the featured channels in my YouTube page. Um, there are a lot of guys there, again, like little guys just kind of putting out content. Um, there's some really neat stuff. Um, I just found a, a guy's channel the other day. He, he off-roads, you know, Jeep Gladiators and he has Ram Rebel. And, uh, you know, I've got a link to his page in my featured channels section on YouTube. Um, Ram Rebel Steel, he's got some amazing content, Ram, Ram Rebel Nation, they've started up a channel, a uh, good group of dudes. Um, check out Overland Dad, uh, the guy just went forward, but I'm going to hold that against him. If you're a dad and you have kids um, and you like to do truck stuff, that might be a good channel to check out. Check out Roaming Lost, that dude is awesome. Um, honestly, his Rebel is incredible. Uh, the stuff that that dude has rigged up, um, you know, and he's not, he's, he's the kind of dude who's not into making how-tos, but 
you look at his truck, there's some really inventive things he's got going on. Please check those guys out. Um, spread the love, especially if you own a Rebel uh, or for your dad or you just like truck stuff. So it's starting to get kind of cold. Uh, it's going to be about two degrees tonight. And um, yeah, so I'm going to wrap this. But uh, so Venom Rebel 2020 bed light video in the books. If this was at all useful to you, uh, please like, uh, please comment, please subscribe. Uh, we are Venom Rebel 2020. Have a nice life, y'all.